Yeah, I'm Vic Prado, consultant for Sago, and this is November the 23rd, um, 2010. I'm standing at the south end of Trench 98, which has just been dug, and it's oriented north-south. This trench is approximately 200 meters to the east of Trench 96, which is near hole 2010-19. Uh, this trench, as you can see at the south end, has a zone of, uh, I would say, 50, 50 feet uh, across, 50 feet wide, which is totally clay altered rock, buff colored, almost white, yellowish white. The rest of the trench for this length is a brown altered Gaussian, essentially, which is oxidized rock. Uh, don't know the nature of it, probably volcanic, but the nature is, is uncertain given the alteration state of the rock. Uh, there is a lot of quartz, uh, there is some gypsum, there is some calcite, and essentially is a, and some pyrite. And at the extreme north end of this trench, there is some copper mineralization in rock, the rock that is a little less altered. Now trench 97 is 50 meters to the west of this trench, similar orientation and very much a similar uh, geology. Trench 96 is 200 meters to the west of this trench where I'm standing, and it's near hole 19, and it has mineralization approximately in the middle and at the south end of it in rock that is a microdiorite there, and you can see uh, some sulfites, calcopyrite and bornite, and some malachite azurite. But the rest of the trench is also an intensely altered and um, um, essentially a Gaussian like here. So in fact, in summary, what we have here at the top of the hill and south of the Granby zone, where we are, is a zone of Gaussian, which is some 100 meters north-south and at least 200 meters east-west, that sits on top of something. Now, the old trenches show intense alteration in Gaussian alter uh, and Gaussian, uh, but the rock is, there is a little sparse mineralization, but the trenching did not get through the, uh, the Gaussian. Uh, so even though some trenches are at least 30 feet, th 30 feet deep, um, in summary, we have to drill. We have to drill either by a grid percussion drill that will tell us through the Gaussian what's underneath and what mineralization we have, or diamond drill. And that's, that's basically the story here. Now this oxidized zone, this Gaussian zone, goes east of me, behind me, to the east as well, for a, a considerable distance. We know we have trenches down towards Shizlis Creek, which are some 300 meters east of here, that are similar kind of oxidized Gaussian.